Okay, good evening and welcome to BBCHS Showcase for 2021. My name is Brian Wright and I am the proud principal of BBCHS who will serve the class of 2025 for the next four years. This presentation is being recorded and will be placed on our school's website for you to view later if you need. If you have friends who missed tonight's presentation, feel free to direct them to our website to view this information and presentation, the Career Pathways presentation, and the Course Offerings presentation. There is a Q&A area for your convenience at the bottom of our screen. We will, we will try to get answers to you uh, by the end of the presentations if you place a question there. We will not be monitoring the chat, so please use the question and answer feature for your questions. Tonight is a very special night where you are our honored guests. The focus of tonight is for you to catch a glimpse into why I believe BBCHS is the best high school in the area and in the south suburbs. Parents, I recognize that you have a choice in schools. With all due respect to our local private schools, no school in this area can compete with what BBCHS can offer in terms of the entire package opportunities to be involved and excel in academics, athletics, organizations, all in a positive atmosphere. Our dedicated faculty will go above and beyond what is expected to ensure that your child succeeds. As a parent, you can't ask for any more, anything more than that. Students, you will soon begin your high school career. This is an exciting time for you. You will hear information tonight about how to choose courses from our freshman counselors and our division chairs. At the end of tonight's meeting, I will share with you what our next steps will be. Let me introduce you to our promise that we have for each student. Our mission statement is empowering students on their pathway to success. Students have personal goals and each student's pathway is different. Our goal is to come alongside each of our students and to facilitate the learning experience and to ensure their success. We believe in opening up the mind and skill sets of our students by building lifelong skills that can benefit our students not only in high school but later in life. We teach and integrate the six C's. Character, citizenship, collaboration, communication, creativity, and critical thinking. Before graduating from BBCHS, each student will master these six C's and use these skills to be successful in their area of interest. What does BBCHS have to offer me? That is the question I'm sure you have all asked or will be asking. We have 18 advanced placement courses, courses that actually put money into your pockets for college. We have a rigorous pre-AP courses that helps our students prepare for the future. If you need intervention, plenty of opportunities exist there to help our students build the necessary skills to be successful and to build self-confidence along the way. I'm often asked, what is the best part of BBCHS? That is the easiest question to answer. The students. I'm very proud of our student body. Each year, I'm amazed by their hard work, their dedication and their talents. But what I cherish the most is the growth that each undergo from unsure freshmen lacking confidence to outgoing, confident, strong seniors ready to take on the world. Every student has a story to tell. And I love seeing that transition into adulthood in four short years. Are you interested in clubs and activities, students? If so, we have close to 30 different clubs and organizations waiting your interest. There is something for everyone. Involvement in a club, an organization, or an athletic team is the key to success and a memorable high school experience. Don't take my word for it. Ask your parents, ask your friends who have been through this high school. This year's showcase won't involve the typical visit to the gymnasiums that we typically do due to the pandemic, we're not gonna be able to see the different clubs, organizations, and athletic opportunities. We will have an athletic showcase in the spring and a club and activity fair at the start of the school year in August. Regardless of your interest, I encourage you 
and all students to get involved. The more you're involved, the higher your GPA is. That is what the research indicates here at BBCHS. Students involved outside the hours of eight to three have a half point GPA higher than those who are not involved. All you have to do is step out and try something new. Are you interested in putting money in your pockets? Do you want college credit while still in high school? Are you interested in earning an associate's degree before a high school degree? This infomercial is brought to you by BBCHS. All of this is possible in our collaborative agreement with Kankakee Community College and Olivet Nazarene University. This is a very unique program called College Now. It's offered to juniors and seniors, but you can begin your planning process your freshman year. You will save thousands of dollars, and BBCHS is here to help you do just that. This is an exciting opportunity for our parents and our students who want this, this type of activity. You may be wondering, is BBCHS for me? I say with a resounding yes, absolutely yes. Yes, you can achieve, excel, and enjoy your high school experience in a very special way. I want you to start thinking about how you are going to carve out your own experience, and soon you will be given the opportunity to do just that. I am as excited to have you join our student body and be begin to find out how BB is for me. It is my pleasure to introduce our Director of Counseling, Mrs. Kate Lippolt, who is going to take you through the specific information about the next steps. That was a little bit there for me. <laughs> so thank you, Dr. Wright, and I'd like to extend another enthusiastic welcome to the class of 2025. So Dr. Wright has asked, what can BBCHS offer you? But I have a different question that I'd like you to ponder. What is your path? In student services, we ask you to consider where you're headed. What interests you? How might you want to spend your time after high school? What problems do you see in your world that you want to solve? Workforce opportunities are ever evolving and certainly look much different than those of your parents. The reality is that many of you may be working in jobs that don't currently exist. While we can't know for sure what lies ahead of you, we encourage you to use your time at BBCHS to begin exploring your interests and gaining experiences that will support the journey to your career. A first step on that path is to reflect on your interests and select a career pathway that will provide introductory experiences through high school coursework and ultimately help you figure out what you want to do and where you're headed. The career pathways aligned with career clusters were designed as a tool to help you as you begin building your plan for high school. There are so many things to consider, graduation requirements, college readiness, career skills and experience, and of course your own interests. All of these things ultimately need to filter through the school schedule. In a typical year, that means 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., Monday through Friday, August through May. Future planning now can help you to maximize your opportunities and ensure your readiness for the next step. When you have an opportunity to meet with the ninth grade counselors in March directly, you will be just a little more ready to start talking about your four-year plan if you're thinking about it now. While it may seem daunting now to think four years into the future, a future plan, even one that may change over time, helps you ensure that you maximize those opportunities. Your own pathway planning may include taking advantage of zero hour or summer school, and that could start as soon as this summer. As you start to look over the course materials that we've shared, begin talking with the trusted adults in your life about your interests and goals. Do you hope to study veterinary medicine and keep playing the bass clarinet? Maybe you want to work in special effects makeup and get your cosmetology license. Will your future work require fluency in another language? Whatever the pathway, we can help make it happen with careful planning. One of the first activities that you'll work on with your counselor is a four-year plan. But let's focus back in on next school year. This is a typical ninth grade schedule. BBCHS offers a seven period school day and all freshman students will have English, math, science, social science, PE and health, and a split lunch study hall. BBCHS is a pre-AP school as Dr. Wright mentioned. Developed by the college board, pre-AP courses get students ready for AP and other college level coursework through common instructional practices and learning strategies. They are designed for all students and to be the standard baseline course in their particular subjects. 
for those of you with older siblings, a change for this coming school year is that Pre-AP is the only offering for all students across the four core content areas, moving us in the direction of our Vision 307 commitment to increasing student access and ability to complete college level work before leaving high school, and to generally improve the overall readiness of our students. A little quick note on math, because I know a lot of you will ask, for those of you that are taking algebra right now as an eighth grader, recommendations for pre-AP geometry will come from your algebra teachers during the fourth quarter. We'll use those recommendations to make adjustments to your math placement for you. Taken together, while there's a lot to consider, ninth graders really only have one slot in their schedule for electives. As you complete the course selection form, you'll be asked to select either one year-long elective or two semester-long electives. We also ask that all students select an alternate in the event there is a scheduling conflict that interferes with your first choice. Keep this in mind as you review the course information. Be sure to thoroughly review all elective options detailed in our supporting materials, such as the new student enrollment guide, the department presentations, the career pathways guide, and the career pathways presentation by our ninth grade counselors, Mr. Lamy and Mrs. Stover. Are you curious about a specific course? The course description guide has more detailed information on freshman electives and all of our courses. All information and resources are available on our website. Look under student services for incoming freshmen and you'll get a chance to see what that looks like later on. In the 2021-22 school year, we have a unique opportunity to offer additional electives in CTE and world language through an online format. Students opting for these courses would have an assigned classroom location during the school day to complete the class. Are you interested in these options? The ideal student is gonna have a strong work ethic, will work well independently and demonstrate excellent time management because they are truly independently driven. Dr. Wright also mentioned that BBCHS has 18 advanced placement courses. Did you know that two of these classes are open to ninth graders? BBCHS practices open enrollment for AP. The only prerequisites are a willingness to accept the challenge and to persevere. We encourage all students to have an experience with advanced coursework, whether you identify as college bound or not. So how do we do this? Like so many things this year, including this showcase, our registration and course selection process has gone online. The first step for parents is to complete the online registration for your incoming ninth grader. If you currently have a student at BBCHS and you are a current parent portal user, you can access online registration now through the portal you'll find it in the menu under more. If you're brand new to BBCHS, the link to online registration is available on our website. You will need a valid email address to complete online registration. If you don't have an email or a workable device at home, contact us in student services to set up a time to come in and complete registration. Whatever your situation, you'll find helpful how-to information for registering on the website. While parents are getting registration information in order, I ask that students begin reviewing career pathway and course selection information. Take time to view the videos our counselors and teacher leaders have created for you. Think about what you wanna get out of your first year of high school. Weigh your options with your family and complete the course selection form. You'll find the link, where else, on our website. Please be sure to complete online registration and the course selection form by March 1st. And as I'm sure you're wondering, no fees are due at this time. Once schedules are built, we will offer online fee payments later on in the summer. So stay tuned for more. As far as next steps, in March, counselors will be meeting briefly with students to review their submitted course selections and answer any lingering questions. Also in March, counselors will be available to meet with families to discuss plans or address questions. These meetings are optional and will be by appointment. More information will be sent out in the coming weeks. At the beginning of April, course request verifications will be sent home via email. These verifications will list all the courses your student has requested for next school year. If everything is correct, you will not need to do anything else until fees are available and due in the summer. If there are errors or a change is desired, you must contact Student Services 9 or the counselors as soon as possible after receiving it. Our master schedule is built based upon student requests. Therefore, we can't allow any schedule changes for next year after May 31st. It's for this reason that it's so important students are making thoughtful elective decisions and selecting appropriate alternates. And now joining us to share more about Student Services 9, our freshman center, is Mr. Joe Kubel, Assistant Principal for ninth grade. 
Thank you, Mrs. Lippel. And let me start by thanking all of you tonight for being a part of this introduction to high school life at BBCHS. My name is Joe Kubel and I'm the assistant principal for the freshman class. It is a pleasure to welcome all of you and hope the information provided is informative and comforting as your child transitions to high school. I'm in my 10th year at BB as both a teacher and administrator and couldn't be more excited about the class of 2025. My role tonight is to bring you closer to the team that makes up our freshman center, their roles in the day-to-day -day lives of our students, as well as the many functions our office serves. Before we get to that, allow me to introduce a few important dates worth noting as we move closer to spring. First session of summer school will begin on June 7th with registration beginning in April. As Mrs. Lippold stated, fee days will be online this year. Our freshman orientation will be August 4th and 5th. And the first day of the 2021 school year will be August 16th. Our Freshman Center is proud to serve your child. Located just outside the main lobby, here we will find a one-stop shop of academic and emotional support to meet their needs as they navigate their freshman year. In addition, the Freshman Center houses our attendance team, school nurses, school resource officer, and director of special services. Together, we try to provide the best possible experience for your son and daughter as they begin their journey through high school. Let's meet them. Our attendance dean, Laura Rewerts, is in her 16th year at BBCHS and second year in her current role. Since Mrs. Rewerts has taken over, she has brought new and exciting initiatives to ensure our students feel welcome when they come to BBCHS. She has been proactive in involving parents in conversations crucial to maintaining good attendance. As data tells us, ninth grade attendance is one of the leading predictors of the dropout rate. Mrs. Rewerts knows and understands the importance of this and is willing to work with families to provide them the necessary support. Our counseling duo, Stacy Stover and Dave May, have more than 20 years of experience and make a great team as students enter their first year. Since the restructuring of student services in 2019, they have worked to develop career path programs for every student, regardless of their interest. These programs are already seeing success as students feel they play an equal role in their developing curriculum and career path. Mrs. Stover and Mr. Lamy are also on the front line of providing emotional support for our freshmen. They oversee all students with individual 504 plans and meet with students on a daily basis to discuss their academic pro progress as well as the stressors that high school brings on. Both work closely with our social workers to provide our students with the emotional support they deserve. Our social workers, Paula Dykstra and Sarah Putman, work compassionately with our student body and do a tremendous job of building relationships that have helped some of our most traumatized students enjoy their high school years. Through one-on-one -on -one and group counseling, they have provided BBCHS with a solid foundation of social and emotional development that our students depend on. Our school nurses, Amy Hagenow and Beth Palmer, have been saints during this time of uncertainty. Their dedication to the safety and well-being of our students and staff during this time have been honorable. As frontline workers, I couldn't think of a better team than these two to navigate the medical waters of COVID-19 in public education. Each day they dedicate to providing the best care possible to our student body and we are very lucky to have them. Our school resource, resource officer is Jim Knapp. Officer Knapp has been at BBCHS for four years now and does an outstanding job of providing security to our building. Officer Knapp works in accordance with the Bradley Police Department and Bourbon 8 Fire to ensure the safest environment for your child to learn. His cooperation and leadership in the development of BBCHS as an Alice school has been commendable and will continue to be a large part in our safety protocol. Finally, I would like to introduce our two administrative assistants, Kelly Kidd and Chris Amberg. Chris Amberg has been with us for 12 years while Kelly is new to our BBCHS family. These two wonderful individuals are the faces of the Freshman Center. They create a warm environment for our students that is inviting. They're a bottomless pit of answers for our freshman students and are looking forward to assisting you with the online registration process and any other needs that you might have. Before I turn it back to Dr. Wright, Again, I would like to thank you for coming on tonight and look forward to working with you in the near future. Thank you, Mr. Kubel. I hope you have a better understanding of BBCHS, what we can offer you and what your next steps are in preparation for August and your first day of high school students. 
August 16th is going to be here before you even know it. We have already begun to plan for that day. And if possible, we will be back to our normal operating procedures with all of our students. And we cannot wait for that. There was a tremendous amount of information given tonight. You're not expected to remember everything that we shared. I'd like to invite you to visit our website dedicated to the class of 2025. On our main page, you can find student services at the top right-hand corner. Once you click on the class of 2025 link, it will open up another page in which you can find information about the new student enrollment guide, registering for classes, a record of this presentation, and a presentation from our division chairs. Of course, you can call our student support office for more information as well. For Mrs. Lippold, Mr. Kubel, our freshman counselors, Mr. Mr. Lamy and Mrs. Stover, thank you for logging on tonight. I trust it was beneficial to you and your family. Feel free to reach out to your counselor if you have any questions as you go through the registration and course selection process. Have a great rest of the evening. Boiler up and hammer down.